Dave, thanks for being here, getting this emergency use authorization from the FDA for the first antibody drug, the first in this class for COVID-19 for people who uh, were recently diagnosed with the disease. Tell us about how you see this drug fitting into the paradigm and helping us through this pandemic. Yeah, thanks, Meg. This is an important uh, piece of news, an important step forward in the fight against COVID-19. Uh, last night, we received emergency use authorization for the first drug ever to be designed for um, beating back COVID-19. It's indicated in early disease, as you're saying, so within the first 10 days of symptoms. And we really want it targeted to those with high risk factors. We know those over 65 with underlying health conditions. Um, but the FDA has labeled this for uh, leaving that discretion to the doctor. And uh, I think that's appropriate given the variety of patients that are facing challenges with COVID-19. This will help reduce hospitalizations. In our study, a 70% reduction in hospitalizations for patients with high risk who receive this drug. So it's not an easy drug to administer. It's given as a single IV infusion. And so a lot of folks in the health world are saying, how is this going to work? You know, you have just been diagnosed with COVID-19. Where do you go to get this infusion? Do we actually have the space to be administering this to thousands of COVID-19 patients safely? How do you see that working? Well, we're, we've been working for weeks on a plan to manage this. As you're pointing out, it's an infused therapy. So a nurse or a doctor will need to give the um, patient this via IV. It's a relatively short infusion, but then patients will need to be monitored for about an hour after the infusion. Um, but we're working with the government to make um, as broad a footprint, uh, as broad a set of choices to get this IV uh, infusion as possible, including potentially in nursing homes, in outpatient centers, or even pop-up facilities that could happen as we did with testing so that people can come in without having to go inside of a hospital where if you have newly diagnosed COVID-19, mostly the signs on the door say don't come in. So we're working on that solution now. Expect news from the government today um, outlining both reimbursement for this, but also the means by which um, providers can, can provide uh, bamlanivimab, the new Lilly neutralizing antibody. Uh, mm. David, it, it's, it's a great uh, piece of news for, uh, for people that, that, that might be in the more vulnerable group. But as you've highlighted, it, it, it just, it comes with a lot of like catch-22 like issues. And I, I guess that it's manageable though. The pop-ups sound good. It, you, you need a positive COVID test. It can't be just symptoms, right? And, and that's one of the things, you don't want these really sick people going anywhere near other people, or not really sick, but you don't want the vulnerable people going into a hospital setting necessarily, um, unless they definitely have the COVID. Uh, so if you need a test, you got to have a, a positive test first, and then it'd be, uh, they got to go in before they're really that sick, which puts them in a place where they could give it to, I, I mean, it, it just seems like there are quite a bit of prob uh, a few problems with logistically how to administer it, but it would be really good for people that, that really aren't that sick yet to prevent them from getting to that point. Is it all manageable for you to do it? Look, it's, it is not simple. It's not a pill. This is an infused antibody. As you know, right. Joe, technology we use for treating cancer and serious autoimmune diseases repurposed to conquer COVID. But um, it's achievable that we can get all this drug procured by the U.S. to patients and do it pretty quickly. We need broad reimbursement. We're working on a plan for that with the government and uh, the availability of sites that are convenient, as you're pointing out. But I'm confident uh, we'll be able to solve that over the coming week or two. It'll take uh, some time in some areas to get that set up, um, but it's coming. And um, the actual infusion itself is not complicated for nurses or doctors to give. They, they do this kind of thing pretty frequently. So what patients should do is they should have a positive PCR test confirmed and be exhibiting symptoms, but not past 10 days of the first symptom. And if you're in the high-risk group, this can really help you. We know patients with those risk factors are worried when they get that positive PCR test back, they should call their doctor and ask if this new uh, Lilly antibody uh, could be useful for them. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.